Today we're going to look at how to add and edit storage locations. You can do this in several ways depending on where you're at in your workflow. If you're just starting to use collective access, your locations need to be mapped out and that will make your life a whole lot easier later on when you're entering records. So click on New, Storage Location. Above the hierarchy box, you'll see the little line that said Add under Storage Locations, a new permanent building. In our setup, you can also select Room and Unit from this drop-down list. Whatever location is bolded in your hierarchy view is the location that will read in this line, meaning that you want to add a new unit within this location. So you'll be putting rooms in buildings and units in rooms. Click the little plus sign next to this line of text and it will take you to the location editing page. Here you can plug in all the details that you want to include about your building using its formal name rather than abbreviations or slang terms, um, which again makes your life easier later on. Click on results to get back to your hierarchy view and then you can follow this same process for all of the museum buildings. So once the buildings are set, you can click on the arrow next to the building name to add rooms to your building. Uh, be sure to adjust your drop-down choice to say you're adding a room under this building instead of another building. Um, the other way you can add a room under the building is by clicking on the name of the building. In the top left corner, you'll see the option to add a room under this building. The database shows you where this room falls in the hierarchy, so if you want to add multiple rooms in the building, you can just click on the building's name to quickly go back and repeat this process. To add units to your room, you follow the same pattern, and once you have your entire site mapped out, you won't have to go back and change these unless you make changes to the site, like renaming a building or a room or adding a shelving unit. So go to Find Storage Locations and click on any location name and this will always bring you back to the detail page and that's where you can edit any of these changes at any time. Once locations are set and you're entering records, you simply start to type in the location name and the system will generate suggestions. It's important to note here that you type in the specific locations such as Shelf 2 or Display Case 3 rather than a general location like the museum name. Pick the location from the list and the database will populate the field. You can then choose if this is the permanent location of the object or just the current location. If the location hasn't yet been added to the system, you will be asked if you want to create the new location. Add the info through the quick add window and then you can carry on with your data entry.